Hey, love boxes, Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much. Um, being able to go through all these different uh, phases in our lives, things are changing, things are rearranging, but it's so good to actually know that you're not actually alone on dealing with all these different things. So it's just a blessing that, you know, a lot of us are feeling comfortable with allowing people to know, hey, I'm going through this too. So um, just know that, you know, through all the hell that we're going through right now and all the twists and turns, it's going to end up being a beautiful outcome. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic you gift how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos are being very informative to you and it would uh if very informative to you would give you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath going through some really trying times right now and they need confirmation and validation towards the life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support i love y'all from the bottom of my heart it is truly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today um the relaxing music i'm listening to today um is called chakra healing building self-confidence remove self-doubt solar plexus healing and uh many pura uh activation and i'll post that link in the description box below um today my video is about twin flame 101 new chapters has has you transforming in a major way trust the process we are it's just a lot of us it's, it seems like there's something very off about us because it is it's just like I, i've told a lot of people um matter of fact like probably a month ago about this evolution uh evolutionary uh impasse and it's like a lot of the the ones that have all these gifts that is in store, you know, a lot of you don't know until it happens. They start, you know, universe is starting to let you know, hey, there's better things that's coming into your life, but you're changing in a most profound way. It's like you're going into the purest form of an empath, like pure, pure, pure form. Like you might as well be the thing that you were before you got planted in that human suit. But it's basically your light is shining a lot brighter than it was before. Um, a lot of you know i feel like some people are second guessing certain things that are coming into your life like is this really happening or can i really do this and the answer is yes you can i have to tell myself this a lot you know a lot of times that you know my gift is is it's like it's out of control it, it's like off the charts um i can spirit right like crazy you know it just depends on what you know relative or what person is coming to see me i, I just start writing um a lot of you know uh messages will come from other people's you know like the ancient ones that are watching them you know and tell them hey you know they want you to do this you know the more you do this the more ideas will come out the more ideas that come out is more things they're allowing yourself to know you about you you know there's a lot of times we do med med uh, meditation a lot of crazy stuff stuff start popping off like you start having these weird like daydreams a lot of us are daydreaming a lot like you'll just be somebody to talk to you and you just zone out for a minute you know, because it, it's putting that download into you. And it's a lot of y'all are getting that extra switch flipped on. So a lot of different things is, has you transforming in a major way. So it's like you need to really trust that process. A lot of people might be coming at you crazy. You know, ex-friends might come back. You know, a lot of drama might pop off around you. That's what I'm telling you. Darkness is not liking the fact is you are evolving. You are ascending in the most profound way. So trust that process, okay? Because it's just like, you know, the devil we gonna win regardless. You know, anytime something's evil coming towards us because they they we're intimidated. They intimidate us by us. They're really intimidated by us because they know God is not going to allow nothing like this to have, you know, to go on, you know, it's already been written, you know, so it's just like a lot of different things are coming into play, 
you know people feel like no hey there's something coming it is something coming in a big major way but also while this this stuff is coming towards us it's like an asteroid and it's not actually an asteroid because i don't want nobody thinking i'm talking about independence day or some kind of armageddon or anything like that no it's like that energy it's like a asteroid coming towards earth and while it's on its way because it's billion billion light years away but it's like it's coming in a fast pace like it could be here in the next month maybe two months i keep on hearing two two months two months two months two months of something going on so it's like with us while it's coming towards us it's allowing us to be able to basically like i told y'all we're going through like a boot camp so it's like with a, a boot camp you're learning to manifest things you're learning to you know uh deal not cope i, I, I don't do no coping you know, coping is like you're putting a band-aid on a broken leg. That's not going to work. You have to be able to deal with what you got to deal with, seeing it for what it is and being done with it. You know, don't don't be mad. Just don't allow things to really get to you because there's a lot of things I had to really tell myself. It's like I would be happy for like three or four days saying, oh, yes, I finally got my happy back. And then, boom, you're going through something else again. But it has to go that way because it's like we're recycling a lot of stuff. We're clearing a lot of stuff. Things are coming towards the surface. A lot of things are trying to be released. So you're going through these different things. You're tra you're changing, changing in a most profound way to the point where it is like you don't really understand what's going on. Your body is changing. You know, your hair, hair and nails might be going a lot faster than they usually do. You know, um, it's like you becoming more drained than you usually do because you're taking in so much at one time you're taking so much upload uh i mean up, upgrades and downloads at the same time it's like mine is like uh it keeps coming in to the where i get very very bad headaches uh my ears start ringing you know i feel like i have to lay down i go through these emotional spurts like what is going on with me you know that's a lot of times i have to take more breaks than i've you know usually do because I get so many downloads like they want me to do videos I go ahead and do the videos but I get so drained afterwards like I you know it'll be a miracle if I can do you know videos or anything after that point you know so all these different things I have to really just really push myself to do so um let me see what else they're wanting me to talk about but it's just like with all these phases of the moon is going it's like is telling me these things had to have happened for whatever is being able to be placed into your life all these things had to happen so it's just like but when you're that person it's like i see y'all as like these uber these uber uh empaths and it's like so crazy because i see y'all y'all look like these super soldiers just walking around and it's like but we normal people see you as human but i'm able to see you in that form that purest form a lot of people are like rosalyn you can really see me other people can't see me the way you see me it's not everybody's gift to be able to do that you're you're not supposed to be to that point where people can be able to peg you out that's why a lot of people can't understand why you are the way you are you're not supposed to be sticking out like a sore thumb that's the reason why you've been placed in the life you've been placed in a lot of us is in people that are very quiet that you know or they think something is wrong with you like mentally you know and there's nothing that, that's you had to be hidden in plain sight and that's why i tell a lot of people there might be some things that they okay you got this wrong this wrong this wrong they had to place you in lives like that so that you would not be pegged out for who you truly are because there's too many things walking around here if anybody ever seen i don't know what kind of movie i can describe this as to be able to make more sense of it but it's just like a lot of us has been placed in lives that they would not even like yeah right that's not who that is and they would that's the main reason why they needed to second guess who you are because the blessed ones that are supposed to see you for that will see you but you're not supposed to be seen you're only supposed to be seen by certain people like that you know empaths can tell a difference between another empath but it takes that special someone can really see you for what you are like dad you know there's people that i talk to on one-on-one -on -one, and you tell me the situations that they're going through and i'm just like wow it allowed me to be able to take that little snippet of the life you had to point what this is the person they had to be in this is the person they had to go through these things and this is the person that's going to heal this this generation on this family then they place this person this way you know because you before you got here you were like that one that they couldn't trifle with they couldn't they wouldn't <laughs> you know and i tell people that i'm like oh 
cool. Okay, now I see why they had you and this person. Because they needed somebody to second guess you. A lot of people, they feel like they have handicaps. Like there could be certain things wrong with you, you know, to the physical eye. But they needed you to be placed in that certain person because you were the most powerful one. Because I tell a lot of people, if there's like a handicap, like there's somebody who can't walk. Or there's somebody that's missing limbs and stuff like that. They allow people to see you like that because they feel like you're a handicap. But actuality, if you notice there are certain people, how do you feel like there's... There are certain people I see that had, you know, they went through, like, I don't know if it had to be cancer or something they were born with where they had to have limbs removed. And, you know, I see people that are doing tracks and they got these little things that look like broke back paper clips on the back of their foot that they run better than we do. I'm like, dad, why can't I get some of these? I got to have my legs chopped off to get them because <laughs> they running fast because those are the type of people that are gifted like that. Those are the type of people that are powerful. The ones that they feel like it has an affliction is not actually a affliction. That's actually a damn gift. You know, and it's like totally opposite. You know, with us, we're mirroring people. We're mirroring different things. So whatever they think of as this is actually opposite of that. So it's just like a lot of different things come to me. I'm like, oh, wow. That's the reason why they had you hidden in plain sight. And it's just like with me, with my situation, nobody would have thought who I was. And who I was related to because I, I look like him, but it's just a different complexion. I had to be hidden in plain sight for that. I used to, I forgot what number it was, but they said you're hidden in plain sight. Your life has been altered for a reason. It's you. You, you're going to have to be that one to determine how you want to live your life. And this is the situation they're placing you in because you've been with, yes, I've been through this. I've been through that. I'm healing. I'm learning. I'm exploring. I'm, you know, I'm learning more things about my gift. There's more gifts that's been adding here that I wasn't even aware of. They need you to go through that because you're going to be able to fix your life the way you want it to. You were, you know, your 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 memory had to be straight worked out because they couldn't allow you to remember the things wherever we were at that time. That where we. We, we, we decided to pick whoever we were going to be and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this family. I'm like, God, dog, I was really bold for that, wasn't I? You know, but it's allowing me to see myself for who I truly am. It's up to me how I want to live my life. Or am I going to allow this situation to break me? But even though God is not going to allow that to happen because we all play a big role in whatever is coming. So they're going to allow you to go through these things. You, you weren't supposed to remember who you were. You, you had those incidences where we had those certain moon phases that is transforming us, rearranging us, allowing us to pick up on things that where it sounds slightly you know familiar to us. So we had to go through all these different things. We had to be into a different form. You probably, you know, you're probably starting to remember a lot of your past lives, the things that you did. You know, it's a blessing when I can be able to get in contact with certain people and they start talking to me and telling me. And then the more they tell me, the more it's like their spirit is connected with me, allowing me to see them for who they really were, who they were before then, you know, they were before, you know, in their past lives, all these different things being connected so it's like when you're being placed in this path you know it might sound confusing and everything like I said you have to be able to trust the process you have to understand your your memory was warped for a reason you had to go through all these crazy situations and it can even sound so so trife that what you had to go through but you actually had to go through that to be able to learn the most powerful lesson is love forgiveness healing elevating educating and passing on the word, that's a, that's a, all the things that, that you were brought here to do. You know, and there's a lot of things that we have endured that can be hard to be able to process at that time and feel like, damn, did I really go through this? Or am I really here right now? Is this my life right now? Yes, this this is everything that happened to you for a reason. And I, I mean, I can't explain why that had to happen like that exactly, you know, because y'all really went through some painful stuff that, you know, some of the stuff that y'all, you know, you opened up and told me is like broke my heart in so many different ways. Like, oh my God, how are they able to do this? How were they able to endure this? But that's the main reason. You had to be able to endure the things you had to endure. Being able to be that monarch, I keep on hearing monarch person that had to en endure these things to be able to speak your words, things that you have gone through like I do. You know, I do mine here, you know, being able to go through that. It was no easy job. 
you know, you have to be able to have that confidence in yourself. My confidence builds every day. You know, my power comes in every day because they say you have the power to get out of this. You have the power. You know, we might feel stagnant in certain situations. We're actually not. It's all here. You know, you're able to get through those things. You, but it's just the fact is when you see the key that you had to place upon that puzzle, that missing piece to be able to get your, yourself out of whatever situation you're in, when you finally see that that is just a play that you had to you know that role you had to place in that situation the 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 more you'll manifest to getting yourself out of that situation so allowing yourself to see what is going on trust the process and know you know that this situation has got you transforming in the most profound way and i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video i'm gonna give a post notification out to kelly borden uh, Kat Lowe, uh, if y'all, I mentioned her before on my, my, my videos, she's a new YouTuber, she tells, uh, a lot of personal stories that she has went through, which is truly amazing, you know, you should go by her, uh, her channel, it's Kat, K-A-T, uh, Lowe, uh, L-O-W-E. Um, and you know, let her know I sent you there and show her some love and stuff like that. I'm trying to find, um, I don't even know where the rest of my, uh, shout outs went to, but yeah. And, uh, Gabriel, much love to you as well. I'm so proud of you. You have been, you know, involving in such a major way and just being able to lend your ear out to, you know, tell people to hit you up on Facebook messenger is truly a blessing. So, um, I will see you on my next video, y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line let me know uh if you can resonate with this video and let me know if you're you know you're going through these things so i feel a lot of y'all are so be able to trust that process that you're going through um and uh you know share thumbs up make sure you hit that notification bell and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.